Okay, so this is kind of a fun one. Uh, this is a project I just got done working on uh, fairly recently. It's a movie coming out called Jin, and I did not do the original design. I did not do the original programming. I did help them with the programming of the site, and one of the challenges was to have a uh, intro video play as a background graphic and when it got done it would be replaced by a still graphic uh, so that it didn't keep looping. Uh, so there's a little bit of a challenge in that and it was all done through CSS. And I want to show you how to do that background video graphic uh, now using the CSS. So uh, this is the website and I'm just going to hit refresh so you can see how it plays. Uh, you can see that the navigation is on top of the actual video. This is the video back here. Actually it's the still frame right now but it's where the video plays. And then we've got live text and buttons on top of that video. So again I'm going to hit refresh here. Okay, so the video kind of ends, fades up, out, whatever, and gets swapped out with a still graphic of that last frame. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window, and I'm going to open up a new HTML5 document. Uh, we will want to use HTML5 because we're using HTML5 video tags in this. Uh, the CSS you can use in pretty much any browser, but... Um, what I want to do first, though, is start by just creating my style tags. All right, so I've got my opening and closing tag here, and within the body here, this is where I want to place the video. Now, with HTML5 video, it's not like the old days where you were just using QuickTimes or Real Movie or whatever. With HTML5, you want to use the video tag. So I'm going to start up by opening and closing my video tag here. And then within there, you want to place at least probably two different types of video file links. Um, there's a couple different kinds that are being popular or that are popular right now. Uh, the MP4 file is one of them, the WebM file is one, and the OGV file. I have links to all three of those right now. I'm going to go ahead and place those in um, just to kind of save time and actually show you how this works here. Again, I'm going to copy and paste the links that I already have, and these links are actually on the server and not locally on my desktop. So uh, if you wanted to, this is just kind of a proofing area where I have these. Uh, very common uh, code here. It's just the source of that video is equal to, and then we go to the three different video players here, and then we define what their type is. So again, nothing really crazy going on here, but it is wrapped within my video tag, the opening and closing tag. And if I were to play this right now, it's just going to play the video and it's going to choose whichever one is going to be appropriate for my browser. That's what we're doing this for, is these are dependent on the different browser types. So um, it's good to have those in there. You don't have to have all three. If you had at least two, you'd be if your base is covered. So what I want to do want to do though is go ahead and, and apply within my style here the style sheet for a video tag. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and close it out. So again, it's saying anything that is a video within the document here, let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to set my minimum width of the video to 100%. All right. I'm going to do the same thing for the height. I'm going to close those two tags. So I got a minimum width and minimum height of 100%, and that's going to stretch my video to be the full screen like we saw. Now again, I had some of that being covered up by the navigation and some text, but the video is still playing full width, full screen, no matter how big my screen was. In fact, let's go back to that video here just real quick. I'm going to hit refresh again just so you can see the video playing. Now I see the video playing. If I were to scale my video or my browser up and down you do see that the video is scaling with it so I'm going to minimize that all right so I just want to show you how that worked okay so now again I also want to set my regular if I could type that right width to auto now this is going to center my video within the screen set my height to auto again centering it and when you saw the video play and end and it got replaced with a graphic, that's what I'm going to put in here because I'm going to set a background. 
This will also help if the person does not have um, any of these video players built in. Maybe they have a really old browser. Um, it'll play this graphic instead. And again, I'm using an absolute link for this. I'm going to copy and paste it. Um, just so I don't have to type all this out here real quick. But same properties as a background graphic. I'm just linking to the absolute, um, an absolute link to that graphic. And just saying no repeat. I just want it once in the background there. All right, one last tag I'm going to give this. It's kind of like setting the minimum width, the minimum height here for the video. But for the graphic, I want to say background size is cover. So that's going to cover the entire screen with this graphic. Now, one thing that you might want to do if you have several videos on the page uh, is to give the video itself an ID. And what that's going to do is it's going to single this video out from any other video so these other videos don't play full screen. Now, you may not have other videos. If you don't, then don't worry about this. Uh, but it is good practice to go ahead and put in there. I'm going to go ahead and call this an ID of background video. Just keep that short like that. Background video. And in my video here, I'm going to add the ID. Background video. Okay, so this ID is being associated with this video tag up here in my style sheet. All right, so the last thing I want to do is also within this video tag here, I want to set it to autoplay. And I want to set the background graphic within here too. So I'm going to say autoplay and then my kind of static graphic for when this video is not playing is going to be this poster equals and it's that same absolute length that I have up here in case for to be behind the video. All right, so you can see I've got the ID, autoplay and poster. What this is going to do is it's going to autoplay the video and then stop and be replaced with this poster graphic. Now you could not have the word poster, not have that link in there, and instead of autoplay you could have loop, so the video would keep on looping. In this case we didn't want to do that, but uh, um, again for this instance we this is how we have it set up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save my file, and I'm going to go ahead and preview this in a browser and see how it turned out. Alright, so I'm going to open up a new tab here, and I'm just going to drag my file that I saved out here. And you can see I've got my video playing in the background. And as I scale it, you see the video scales with my browser here. All right, and it ends with the still frame, and that is also scalable. So you can see with just a few lines of code here, just by stylizing the video tag and actually adding that right into the body of the site. You can add this as a background graphic which can really add some really cool effects to your website. Uh, again, it's just not your typical thing. It really gets people's attention and it can be a really cool effect. Mm -hmm.